Good afternoon all. Mike from Briar Blues here. Let's do our pipe check and yes I've given the Jerry Crawford the day off and I'm smoking my Ryan Alden Commission Danish brandy with the horn. Just a fantastic pipe and it all like the Jerry Crawford is getting better and better with each bowlful. Just loving it. Today's topic is going to be Radice Pipes. It's an Italian brand that's been around for quite a while. And I thought we'd go through a little bit of the history of the company and a little bit of Luigi's background. So to begin, I've got to say that in my humble opinion, Luigi has the absolute best mustache in the pipe industry today. I could be so lucky. Um, I met Luigi a number of years ago at a Chicago pipe show and um, just an amazing man. Uh, there's a saying that the eyes are the window to the soul and that is absolutely true with Luigi Radice. The man's eyes twinkle and if you look him in the eyes you can see that that mind is constantly going, constantly, constantly thinking and innovating. And if you've looked at any Radici pipes through the years, you've seen him, um, his masterful work of making a bicycle pipe and using um, hippopotamus horn and buffalo horn and all kinds of really interesting um applications into pipes just an innovator well innovative well beyond um, most other pipe crafters today so let's start with a little bit about Luigi born in 1939 so you can do the math to figure out that this is the grand master of Italian pipe carving he started at Costello in 1961 with another carver by the name of Papino Escorti. In 1974, Papino and Luigi left to begin Caminetto. Now, due to creative differences, they parted company, and in 1980, 1980 began the, the Radici brand. And um, always innovative, always doing interesting things. Currently, um, the Radicis deal directly with pipe shops. They have no middleman, so prices are extremely reasonable. Um, at their beginning stage, the rind, which is a rusticated finish, you can get below $200. Then they make the rind pure, which is a rusticated finish, and it's an absolute natural finish, so there's no sand spots visible. Then the silk cut, which is their sandblast, the silk cut pure, which is also spot free. Then we go to the Radici line, which is a dark brown. Then we go to clear, which is a smooth, and clear F for Fiamatta. Then he also does a collection grade, which are the really one-off unique pieces. Some of the older grades you would find would be brown, and Tiger's Eye. Uh, there's a few others. You might find pipe stamped TB for Twin Bore, and you'll also find some stamped Oil Cured. And the Radicis were the first Italian brand to really do a lot of experimenting with oil curing. So there's all kinds of cool things that Radici has done through the years. Um, currently, he's jo joined by his two sons, and they are Maurizio and Gianluca. The other cool thing about Radici over the last 18 to 24 months is they have now started using ebonite. And the stem work on these ebonite fitted uh, pipes is absolutely amazing. Um, super, super thin, super comfortable, and with no uh, tobacco chamber coatings, these pipes smoke great from brand new right out of the box. Um, I have dealt with them in the past and I will again bringing in some new pipes. I, I think they're a bargain on the Italian market for new pipes. 
You can find them at smokingpipes.com. And through this video, you'll have noticed that I've popped up a few pictures of some of the finishes. So, like I say, go to smokingpipes.com. They have a great selection of Radici pipes in new and estates. So, if you found that interesting and you'd like to see us do some uh, different brands, please leave a comment, some brands that you're interested in. Uh, please hit the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when we leave any new content. And I thank you for watching till the end and wish you a great day. Take care, everybody. Thank you.